to you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are welcome once again to Morning Charge with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. It is well with you, it is well with your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, if you have your Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, please bring it out because we are going to the presence of God. If you don't have, I encourage you to get your own copy, you will find it very useful for yourself and for your family. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come to you this new day in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we are grateful unto you because every day you show yourself faithful unto us according to your word that it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. And you say in your word, for your compassions, they fail not. You say they are new every morning, and that great is thy faithfulness. Father, take all the glory forever in Jesus' name. As you have brought us into this new day, we are in your presence, we commit our lives into your hands, and we pray that you forgive us all our sins, and that you use the precious blood of Jesus Christ to wash away every sin and every stain and every contamination from every row of our lives in Jesus' name. But as we go into the morning charge, into your word this morning, we pray, come and be with us and bless us, heal us and deliver us in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit divine, take absolute control, glorify your name and bless your children all over the world. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Today is Thursday, the 24th day of August in this year 2023. And our topic for this morning charge is the refiner's fire, part one. The refiner's fire, part one. The memory verse is taken from the book of First Peter, chapter 1, verse 7. First Peter, chapter 1, verse 7. And it says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. I want to read that memory verse again. He says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. The topic today is not a very sweet topic, but a very important topic that every true child of God needs to know that it exists and that it is real and that we are not to run away from it because it is one of the ways that God Almighty makes his children to become whom he has called them to be, whom he has planned them to be for his own glory. We are talking about the refiner's fire part one. And what is that refiner's fire? That refiner's fire, according to our memory verse in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 7, is the trial of our faith. The trial of our faith. And in the memory verse, the Lord tells us that this trial of our faith, being much more 
precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire. He say that the trial of our faith might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's talking about some experiences that children of God have when they are following the Lord. Everything in following our Lord Jesus Christ is not sweet, 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 sweet all the time. Everything about following our Lord Jesus Christ is not bread and butter. Like I normally mention that when we were younger believers in Scripture Union, SU in those days, that's one of the chorus we used to sing when we come for fellowship in the secondary school. And it goes like this. Wonder, so, so, wonder, so, so, wonder what Jesus they do for me. Wonder, so, so, wonder, so, so, wonder what Jesus they do for me. Here we sugar your tea and butter your bread, yo. Wonder what Jesus they do for me. He will sugar your tea and butter your bread, yo. Wonder what Jesus they do for me. Oh, wonder, so, so, wonder, so, so, wonder what Jesus they do for me. So in those years and days, as a small child in secondary school, people like me thought that everything about Jesus is that he will sugar my tea and butter my bread. I didn't know that there could be situations that could be shocking that can happen to a child of God most unexpectedly. And you'll be wondering, ah, ah, is it me this thing is happening to? I'm a child of God. Why is it happening to me? That is what the Lord calls the trial of your faith in our memory verse. And he's telling us that the trial of our faith, this kind of situation and circumstance, he say that it is more precious than gold that perishes. You know that God is always refined in fire so that you become purer and better and more beautiful. And the Lord is telling us today, you need to bear it in mind that it can happen to a child of God. In fact, it is necessary. There is no child of God that his faith shall not be tried. And it is God that determines when it will come to your own life. So he said that it is more precious, this trial of faith is more precious than silver of gold. He say that at the end, at the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, he said that this trial of our faith shall be found unto praise and honor and glory for us when our Lord Jesus Christ appears. I want to pray for you this morning and I want to pray for myself. That at the time of the trial of our faith, the time of the trial of your faith, that the Lord will keep you standing in Jesus' name. The Lord will keep all of us standing. We shall not fall away because of the trial of our faith in the name of Jesus Christ. What is our motivational quote for this morning? It says, God disciplines and corrects those he loves. God disciplines and corrects those he loves. Just as a loving father or a loving mother or a loving parent will discipline his child when he makes mistakes, and the parent does not want that child to be wasted, does not want child to become useless, he or she will discipline the child and correct the child. The child will learn the lesson. You call the child back and love the child, and the child will become, will become responsible. He said that God does the same thing for us. When it happens, it is called trial of our faith. Then, our prophetic word for today says, God's strength will uphold you in the day of adversity. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Our fire scripture is found in Malachi chapter 3, verses 1 to 6. Behold, I will send my messenger and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. 
Behold, he shall come, says the Lord of hosts. But who might, may abide the day of his coming, and who shall stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. Verse 3 And he shall sit as a refiner and the purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Verse 4, Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in former years. Verse 5, And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, and against the adulterers, and against false swearers, and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right, and fear not me, says the Lord of hosts. Verse 6, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Amen. This is the scripture we have for this morning's morning charge. Who is a refiner? We'll answer this question after we come back. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. The 2023 70 Days Fasting and Prayers of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries is on. Fast breaks 5 p.m. Mondays and Fridays and 2 p.m. every other day. Remember to get your 70 Days Fasting and Prayer Guide booklet for this event, the 2023 70 Days Fasting and Prayers, Prayer Battle 4. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Have you gotten a copy of the 70 Days Fasting and Prayers booklet? Get one today and one for a friend and have a guide into the 70 days program. Get a copy from any MFM bookshop near you or visit www.mfmebooks.com. Be a part of this divine annual program. The Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry 70 Days Fasting and Prayers 2023 Prayer Battle 4 Available in English, French, Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, Ethic and Edo. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Available in English, French, Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, Ethic and Edo, Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Welcome back to Morning Charge. God bless you as you listen in Jesus' name. Our topic today remains the Refiner's Fire, Part 1. And I ask the question, who is a refiner? A refiner is a person or a device or substance that removes impurities that removes sediments or other unwanted matter from something. A refiner can be called a cleaner or a cleanser. For every true child of God, there must come a time when God, when God refines his life so that he comes out better 
in Christ Jesus our Lord. What is the process of refining gold? This includes passing the gold, the gold ore, through strong fire and melting or liquefying the gold under such intense fire, under such intense heat, the impurities in the gold comes up to the surface and are removed, thereby leaving only pure gold. That is the process of making gold, of removing impurities from gold so that that gold will be pure and will be of high value and be very beautiful. That is exactly what happens to every child of God. It happens to all children of God at one time or the other. When the Lord is sanctifying and purifying that child of God so that he will become the kind of person that God has called him or called her to be, you find that at times it becomes necessary for the Lord to pass that person through a situation in life, a circumstance in life that is not sweet at all, that is like passing through fire. I want you to think about your life. Think about some situations and circumstances you have passed that you were wondering, what is happening to me? Is it because of the sin I committed? Have I committed any sin? Why is the Lord allowing this to come to me? At times, the person will be in confusion. Just like it happened to Job when he was passing through his own refiner's fire. But you see that finally, the Lord brought him out and he came forth as gold. By the time a child of God is passing through the refiner's fire, it does not mean that God has abandoned the person. It does not mean that the person committed the sin. It's just a process that the person has to pass through to become exactly whom God wants the person to be. I want you to imagine if gold ore is not refined so that they take away impurity, so that the gold will now become its real self, shining of very high value, and it will be converted to gold bars, and the whole world is rushing after it, and they measure the richness of a nation by the strength of its gold. If gold is not refined, who will run after it? In the same way, if a child of God does not pass through the training hand of God, he will never become who God wants him to become. He will never shine as God wants him to shine. That is why uh, children of God are not encouraged that they feel oppressed and, and lament or even run away from God when God's hand is upon their lives. The Lord will help all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. At times, God passes his children through such refining fire in life in order to purify such persons and make them to become more like Christ and, and more useful in the hands of God Almighty. Just as fire burning something is not a sweet experience but a very painful one, so also is it very painful when a child of God passes through God's refining fire. It does not mean that the child of God has committed any sin, that that is why he is passing through the refiner's fire. It does not mean that that child of God is being punished for some wickedness he has done. No, it is a necessary growth process. It is a necessary growth process. It just, just like a young man training, either to be a weightlifter or to be a wrestler, and then he's, he's pushing up, pushing up, carrying weight, carrying weight, stretching himself. It's very painful. He's enduring it just so that he will finally become that champion he is envisioning that he will be. The other day, I watched the marathon that they ran in South Africa, and I watched how the men and the women, they were running at a point in time, the commentators were talking, they were saying, 
Oh, now that they are sure that these runners, these participants, they are feeling pain all over. They, they, are, they, are, they are feeling pain all over. That they are just determined that they will make it to the end. That they can see that, that everything is showing that it has become so tough, but that they are determined that they will win. And everybody who was watching, myself, I was watching too. My heart was pounding. And I was saying, can they make it? Can they make it? This is stressful. This is difficult. And they persisted until one of them won. And everybody shouted, Yeah, we are blessings. They gave him this, they gave him that, they gave him cup. Everybody was rejoicing. That is it. He shone after passing through the fire. I was watching. The second person also he became second. The third person became third. And everything. Even the rest who did not really win anything. They, they struggled and passed through it to get to the end of it. And people still rejoice with them that at least they were able to make it to the very end. It happens also in Christianity. Many things like that happen in the life of Jesus. When it is happening in your life, it is not that you are a sinner. You check your life. Go forward by fire. Art 2 is the theme for the September edition of Power Must Change Hands. Implement of Labor. Taking place at the MFM International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. 2nd of September, 2023. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mounted of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live. 0700 WAT. This program will be streamed live on all social media platforms. Platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixlayer. Don't forget free to air MFM television on IS20. The September edition of PMCH Go Forward by Fire Art 2. Come soak this implement of labor in the blood and fire and catapult yourself to the next level. Come to this meeting fast and believe in God for something extraordinary. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Yeah, welcome back in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are still on morning charge and our topic remains the refiner's fire. In this concluding part, I want you to know that God's refiner's fire can come in all forms. It can come in form of hardship. You have done everything they have advised you to do, you have prayed, and yet you are wondering what is happening. It could be God's refining hand. It can come in form of difficulty. It can come in form of hunger. It can come in form of lack. It can come in form of delay. You have done everything. You have prayed all the prayer they say you should pray. You have fasted everything. In fact, you have even gotten prophecies telling you that it will happen. And yet, it didn't happen. It can be hand of God testing your faith to see, to see what you are made of. Are you made of silver? Are you made of gold? Are you made of iron? Are you made of wood? God's refiner's fire can come in form of health issues. It can come in form of maltreatment. They will just be maltreating you for more You have prayed, and yet. It can come in form of pain. It can come in form of deprivation. It can come in form of oppression. It can come in form of perplexity, something you don't understand. You have done everything they say you should do, and yet this thing is still, you don't know why it and what is happening to you. It can come in form of the death of a loved one, most unexpected, it can come in form of being neglected. What belongs to you, what you, what you are qualified for, they refuse to give you. You pray, you fasted, and the Lord will say, be patient, you'll get it. Be patient, you'll get it. So, God's refining fire can come in form of anywhere. But one thing I want you to know is that, according to scripture, it does not last forever. God's refining fire has a time, a time limit in God's own time. And within that period, so long as you pass the exam, it will stop. That's why uh, uh, Job said, But the Lord knoweth the way that I take. 
when he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. So you find that it has a time in which it will stop. And then the Lord will glorify you. The Bible says that the suffering will not last forever in the book of Peter. He said that after a while, the Lord will lift up that suffering, that trial. He said, and you shall come forth beautiful. And you shall look back and remember when it was so painful. But you find that the Lord has passed you through it and brought you out and established you. And then it becomes an experience for you. It becomes glory for you. You will now use it to be explaining to others who are passing through their own and say, ah, don't worry my brother, don't worry my sister. The Lord will see you through. You will come forth as gold. You will be excellent testimony. Do not give up. Persist in the Lord. I pray for you. As you pass through the refiner's fire, you shall not die in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall bring you forth as gold. You shall be excellent example of good and sweet testimony for others to copy in their own times. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless his word in our lives in Jesus' name. I want you to close your eyes and pray with me. Pray like this and say, O oh Lord, I welcome your refining fire into my life to purify me. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, I welcome your refining fire into my life to purify me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray like this. I receive strength to come out better and stronger. In the name of Jesus. I receive strength to come out stronger and better. In the name of Jesus Christ. I receive strength to come out stronger and better. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray like this. Anything that is not glorifying God in my life, be uprooted and die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is not glorifying God in my life, be uprooted and die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be uprooted and die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pray for you. Father Lord, we thank you for what you've done for us today. Thank you for talking to us about the refiner's fire. We pray that your mercies and your grace and your strength will, more, will be more than enough and sufficient for each and every one of us anytime the refiner's fire will pass over our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for everybody listening this morning, Father, that you help them, that at the time of the refiner's fire, that your strength will saturate and inundate their lives in Jesus' name. Protect them and let them comfort as pure as gold, that your name be glorified in their lives and their destinies in Jesus' name. Father, today, as your children go out for their daily bread, we pray that you be with each and every one of your children in the name of Jesus. Meet all at the point of their needs. Wipe away their tears. Favor them before God and before men and cause them to live to serve you forever. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus Christ, holy and almighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, boys and girls. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Some wicked powers ganging up against me, scatter in seven ways. In the name of Jesus.